Yo, 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 what's up, people? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. We're back. We're back with another video. Um, yeah, uh, we are literally... Today's Monday. We're literally five, game, five days away from the regular season opening for the Portland Timbers, as you can see, wearing the beautiful, always beautiful, green and gold uh, colors. And... I don't know why the fuck my... Do you guys see that? Like, this star is like, look. Like, I stand here and it's so bright. But, um... The reason why I wanted to make this video is... What is going to be happening the rest of the week? Um... I also wanted to talk about... I also wanted to talk about... A little bit about... Basically, what's been going on with the Timbers and also... Um, um, what else? I wanted to, to talk some things about the Thorns, but I'm just going to put it out here right now. There's nothing interesting going on with the Thorns as of late, as of like yesterday. There's been nothing new, so that's why this video won't include anything of the Thorns. Uh, Blazers, um, probably like on like Wednesday or yeah, Wednesday or Thursday morning, I'll make a video about the Blazers at their game against the Warriors. And we'll summarize the win, the big win in Memphis last week. But this video is mainly going to be just Timbers. Um, I'm actually not not even sure how... I'm, not, I'm actually not even sure how long this video is going to be. This video might be 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Who knows? Um... Yeah, I just wanted to catch you guys up on the Timbers. Uh, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because the Timbers had a preseason tournament. They played three games. Alright, so the first preseason game that they played, they played against Minnesota on February 13th. That was a week ago and one day. So, in the first preseason game, uh, starting a lineup and I'll put like the screenshots somewhere. Like, depending how, like, good I can make it, might be, like, right here. Or it could be taking up this whole, this whole screen. Um, but, yeah. They're a nice player. Pablo Bonilla, Claudio Bravo, Diego Chara, Jimmy Chara, Ivesic, McGraw, uh, Santiago Moreno, Nias Golda, Paredes, and Bill Tuloma both started. And, uh, on the subject today were David... Notable Van Ranking, Poshibe, McCarthy, and Bodily. Those were the notable names on the bench that day. And the, the Timbers weren't, they had a lot of the chances that game. Uh, wasn't really the best outing. They missed a lot of the chances. But Jimmy Chara in the sixth minute, fifth minute, put the Timbers up 1-0. And that would be all the scoring. And like I said, uh, Minnesota wasn't really that threatening that game. It was, it was, man, it was, you know, it was mainly like if the Timbers would have lost, it would have been on theirs, on like that, because we basically had, we basically just scored one goal and we missed a whole bunch. Um, Diego Chara got a yellow card in that game. <laughs> Bill Tuloma did, did too. Um, in the 68th minute for Shibe went on for Christian Paredes. Bill Tuloma received the record in that game. And the Blaze and no, not the Blaze, the Timbers went on to still hold on to the one nothing lead. And uh, actually, every, in the 70th minute, every single player except for Shibe subbed off. And the players that entered the match was band ranking. Bilham, David Bilham, Bodily, Justin, Rusam, I'm, I'm just going to call him Justin, Ray, McCarthy, Shao, Baja Chile, and Diego Gutierrez, but all entered the match. And yet, yeah, like I said, Timbers went on to win that match. In the other game, I think it was like a, I think, because the other two teams faced... It was Viking and Russell Lake. I think Viking won like four nothing, five nothing. 
so yeah and then on wednesday the uh hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on oh and then on the 16th of february they played against viking that starting lineup i also put on the screen uh but it was mainly just sub players uh bellham bodily for shebe diego gutierrez mccarthy uh, Juan Paulo Anior, which is that kind of a weird one. I think he's just doing preseason to get some fitness. I don't think the Timbers could sign him. Uh, Jose Carlos Van Ranking, and that's it. That's basically it. If like, if I only name like five of the like four of the starting people from last year, if that like that game was just um, it was just yeah. Um, substitutes were Aspia, Bonilla, Chara. Jimmy, that's about it. Some Chago Moreno, Hunter, and Von Steg. Uh, in the eleven minute, Viking went up one nothing. Uh, thirty six minute, they got a controversial penalty. I would say some of myself, it was a controversial penalty. I don't think it was a penalty, but whatever. Um, uh, missed the penalty. No, save. They saved the penalty, but they got the rebound. Uh, in the 45th minute, Justin scores the fucking goal of his life. Make it 2-1. And he even got a contract with the Timbers just a couple of days after that. So, congratulations to him. Well deserved. And, again, second match in a row. Uh, Paulo Bonilla got, got, got a record. And Vikings scored in the 71st minute. Make it 3-1. And that would be it. Aspria, Chara, and Santiago Moreno all came in, but yeah, it was not, 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 uh, nothing really happened. I also think that the Minnesota and RSL finished 0 0. Let me just, let me just confirm. Yeah, 0 0. Um, so yeah, um, then two days ago, Oh, and then we also got the sad news that Felipe Mora has, well, when surgery was successful on his left knee and he will return in about a month and a half to six weeks. So I hope, prayers out to Felipe Mora, hope you come back and hope you, whatchamacallit, you recover safely. We need you, we're gonna miss you. Is like a month and a half, so yeah. Uh, now it's turn. Now it's turn for Nias Gorda to be the man that he is. Because last season he had a, a good season before he got, or like I think two seasons ago he both uh, before he got hurt. So yeah. Um, I'll put that. I'll, I'll, uh, every single time that I say that I'm gonna put something up, I will put it up. I have to remind myself to put it up. Um, but I think I will. Uh, then February 19th against RSL, the rematch of the Western Conference Finals of last season. Uh, this time, the Timbers played from what I think, maybe just adding Blanco in, uh, will be the starting 11. That is Aspria, Bravo, Chara, Bocharas, Ibisic, McGraw, Moreno, Nias Gola, Tristan Perez, Tui Loma, and Van Rankin, that is the 11 that they started out with. Uh, the substitute, Juan, Juan Paulo Anior, David, Blake Bodley, Hoshibe, Diego Gutierrez. I don't know who Diego is. That name sounds familiar to me. Diego Gutierrez, I'll have to look it up. Uh, McCarthy, I don't even know which one McCarthy is. Uh, Justin Hermeson, I think that's how you said his name. Um, Hunter, and that's it. Um, also, man, David, I was about to say Diego, David Ayala was in present in that game. He, he received his jersey, and yeah, I'll, I'll try to put like a screenshot here. Um, and it was 0-0. Zero, zero. Diego Chara got a got a yellow card for the sec two games out of the out of the out of the, the three. 
Christian Paredes. Uh, he scored a he's uh, he scored a good goal. Um, to make it one nil. Then they got a penalty. They got a penalty, and the always effective one of the most effective players in MLS last season. Well, the last two. Well, I don't know. If it's, hold on, hold on. I'm confusing his score that with someone else, huh? Hold on. How, he's been here since 2019, right? Right? He's been here since 2019? He's been here since 2019, right? Please. Yeah. Oh, no, 2020. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dean's score one of the best, most effective players. What? Well, effective and... Like he he executes really really well. Um, but yeah, Nias Gola. Uh, who was it? The one that? Oh, it was um, yeah, Nias Gola. He got fouled in the area. Clear foul. Way more clear than the Viking penalty. Penalty and then Nias Gola scored the second goal to make it two 0 And then Bill Tuloma. Took the actual piss, literally, got a free kick near the near the box, and he just like top right, no top left, and he and he hit that, and he hit that shot, like I'm like as if he like he does those in training. Hey, my Biala, bro, like does he does he do those in training, bro? I don't know, my bro, my girl I gotta, gotta like out here, tell us to see like does Bill, does like Bill Tuloma, bang those free kicks like he did, on on Saturday, on the regular because if he does, then he should be a free kick kick t taker. Him a, him a Blanco. And yeah, uh, three now. That's how it will end. And uh, now we wait until next Saturday when they go up against the former Supported Shield uh, champions, which is New England Revolution. And I'm not really sure if they're going to have the, like, like, well, like which jersey they're going to use. If, uh, like if they're gonna go with classic green and gold, or are they gonna finally wear the new shirts, the new jersey? Which actually, a friend of mine actually got me, got me one. So yeah, um, don't know when I'm gonna wear it, but back is Charles. Um, I will get another one. My brother, gotcha, bro. Gotcha. I got you. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna get another one during the season, and I'm gonna put my my viola. Cause my my viola. Besides, well, right now, if we don't come already, and Chara and Diego Chara, right now, my viola dude. My dude, my viola's an amazing person, amazing fashion too. Uh, hey, big brands, come on, bro. Sponsor my sponsor my viola, bro. Come on. Do it, bro. He has amazing, amazing taste in, in fashion. So, yeah, this this will close the segment for the three preseason games. And to top it off, I wanted to... What was I going to say? wanted to tell you guys a bit what's going to be happening in this week. Like I said, Blazers video, maybe or maybe not, coming this Thursday. Because right now, I am in a mix. Because I'm only a month away from completing this term in PCC. Fucking gave, gave half of my life story away. And I'm also really working on doing some homework for the MLS predictions. Um, I would like to get recording on that uh well doing my homework all the way until tomorrow night uh doing it while i'm at work obviously um doing that 
um, in that video, I was going to wear this, this video, you know, this, but for the sake of everyone, I think I will wear this in that both. So here's the, the thing though. Let me just say something. So for me, I would do like about an hour video, just fucking boom, 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 east, west, east, west, boom, 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 boom. putting this, putting team to here, putting this team there. I would do that. It would be an hour a long video, but I don't want y'all to be fucking bored. I really don't. So what I, and, and like I've talked to this, um, well, well, I haven't talked to this, but I've asked for some people's opinions. Um, and I have asked and said, would it be better to do just East and West all in one video? Or if I do East and then West, the East own separate video. And they have just told me that it, they suggest and would be a little bit better if I do East, like one video I do East and the other one I do West. Just for the sake of me, that gives me a better reason. That gives me a better thing because I can just do East first and then I can do knock that video out. And then do West, knock that video out. Also, I am doing that. I'm doing one one that says Eastern Predictions and Western Predictions. Also, might do MVP. Um, this and that. Um, and for the Timbers only, because this is a Portland, because this is a Portland sports channel, I am doing. Um, I will do what you gonna call it. I will do uh, a breakout star, like a breakout star MVP. I don't know if I want to do disappointing player of the year or like worst player because this because it will usually end up being a goalkeeper and let's just say that Ivisic and David play like 10 and 10 no play like 15 and 15 and Hunter plays like four games worst player would be Hunter right so yeah I could do like least valuable player and I will make like a requirement of like like whatever player completes like let's just say like ten games. So then that'll be very and I also have to keep in mind, at least for the Timbers sake, that the Timbers do not have will not have my Viola and Superwitch for the first four weeks. I'm getting like three first first three games because they need to get fit. Williamson, I don't know when he's coming back. I have to take it into account. But now that Blanco re-signed with the Timbers, gives me a better reason, give me a better feeling about what this is gonna feel like. And we also haven't seen much of David Ayala, but I think he will be good. I think he I think we got a good guy on our hands too. Um but the first thing this is gonna be the only like, okay, so basically what I want to do is every season, Blazers, Timbers, and Thorns, when I do a pr prediction, that will be the only video that I talk about other teams unless they face them. So, yeah, so, so, so let's just say when the Thorns season rolls around, I do research, predict, but, that, but that's a little bit easier because... In the in the NWSL, there's not a lot of teams, so that boom boom boom, and we're all good. But obviously the MLS, you got Eastern and West, so yeah, um, yeah. Just wanted to clear that out. Prediction video is coming. Uh, I need to continue on my homework. Uh, some teams, if let me just say this, if there's a team like. I will say Seattle. That's only about one player. Then I it's gonna be like a like thirty like thirty seconds. So Seattle goes here and talk about that and and talk about signings, talk about this and that. Obviously, so like it'll be like a minute or two. Boom, set. 
because I'm not wasting my time, your time, hearing about like Cincinnati, for example. I I don't I don't even know fucking if they're Bob Bob uh Bob Blake because I haven't like gone to that team yet. Uh, but if they haven't, I'm not fucking wasting three minutes. Or why did this and that? No, like just putting them. That is a prediction video, so I know that I'm gonna get a lot of these wrong. But the Timbers standings, I'm pretty confident I will be close. Um, and yeah, that's that. That's that's what's gonna gonna be happening. I'm gonna try to make like a graphic at the end, like at least have it at the end, to where I can show you guys like. You know, hey, this is my final prediction. Boom. And just put it here. One, two, three, four, five, all the way down to like I think twelve or something like that per conference. Just so that I can look back at it and react to it at the end of the season. And yeah, uh, I'm just blabbering on. Just wanted to make that clear. Eastern and Western. All in separate video. The Western might be a little bit longer due to that how in depth I'm gonna go in with the timbers. Um, so yeah, and I'm, and naturally, on the East, the only team that I might go hard on is into Miami, because they're just wasting money, and yeah, so, um, yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video, um, yeah, this week might be kind of quiet, because today's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there might be a double upload, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah, prediction video for the MLS is coming. And, and then, yeah, and then after this week, like on Monday, I'll do like a reaction about the Portland Timbers and Revolution game. And you'll have that out by Monday or Tuesday. And, and that's how it will be like if the Timbers play Wednesday, it, video should be out by, by Friday. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, that'll be it. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope you guys are excited for the new season. My Timber people, um, uh, Timber fans, man, I hope, I, I fucking hope this is a, this is a good season. And I hope, let's pray that this is the season we get our second star because we de deserve it. Um, I will say this always. In 2021, if Blanco's healthy, if everybody's healthy, both teams, Timbers win easy. I have always said that, and I will always stand by that. That no disrespect to New York City, but that team was not good, or it was not as good, and the Timbers just had an off day um, that day. And also, New York City got lucky that it wasn't Philadelphia, or... Or that Philadelphia had like half of the team go party out, so that's not really on. That's not really what you gonna call it. Like new, like new, like New York can't control that, but it is a fact. I'm telling you, a lot of teams, like a lot of people in Canada leagues, they try to discredit. That is my only thing that 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 literally uh, Philadelphia. That's the only asterisk to that, that Philadelphia didn't have the full team. And the Philadelphia and Timbers, I still think Timbers, uh, even with the, the team that they had, I think I think Timbers will win that, that, that final. So, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things coming this week. I got to get, I got to get the, the stuff done. But be hoping and praying that that everything goes smoothly this week, that nothing last minute pops up because that would be really unfortunate. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys have a good day. I'm out. Peace.